Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Labs. So there is one question asked by Sai Shankar Gudla on my Facebook group once again that uh, this guy is really worried about. He's really doing great in terms of uh, interviews, in terms of giving interviews for Selenium testing and everything. But the moment the question is coming with respect to Java or Java coding and he's not able to perform well over there. So that's the question is about that. Do we really need to be mastered in Java coding or any programming language while looking for automation openings? The answer is yes, you have to be good in in your programming skills, in your programming language, because end of the day, you have to design a framework, you have to create a utilities, libraries and everything. So in that case, it's very much mandatory that guys, you have to be good in your uh, programming skills. You think about it. If I ask you to write a complex logic, if I ask you to design a framework, how will you design it if you don't know, if you are not sure about the object oriented programming, if you are not sure about that, okay, how to write a, a better code or optimized code in that case. So in that case, yes, your programming skills are very much required. That's why in most of the companies, the first round is always about the basics of Java programming, your core programming concepts, DS, Elgo, some basic DS, Elgo rounds will be there and you should know that how to clear that. They are not expecting the exact answer or exact code or uh, exact method or class. They are expecting what is your solution, how exactly you are going to optimize that uh, that question or that particular problem, how exactly you are going to optimize it. What are the different uh, you know, techniques that you are going to use it? Are you going to solve it with O n or uh, O log of n or like that? So in that case, how exactly you are going to improve the time complexities and everything. So that's why, yes, that's very much required. This guy is also saying that senior test engineer in HCL technologies and work on multiple tasks like regression testing, uh, client prepare acceptance criteria, CICD pipelines and manual test cases execution and everything that's really good. I'm performing really well in interviews. That is what most of the people are having the problem that they perform really well when someone is asking the question with respect to manual testing, agile or selenium. But the challenges will, will happen when someone is asking the question with respect to Java or coding or something like this, right? So the, see, there is no end for coding. There is like hundred of thousand of questions are there in the market. They might ask anything, but if your basics are clear, at least you are at least attempting to solve the question instead of saying very bluntly say that, okay, no, I cannot handle it. I have no idea about it. Then it will be a negative impression. Obviously, then you will not be qualified for the second round or the third round in that case, especially in some really good product companies or the startups these days in the market. So what do you have to do is that a um, couple of things I would advise you from my side, if you are going for any uh, automation profile interviews, first of all, just be confident about it, prepare yourself with respect to Java programming and everything. And then I'm going to give you a couple of important things. First, you improve your core Java skills. In core Java, all the basic core Java basics are there with respect to programming and everything. Just prepare that basic programming concepts and then all the object oriented programming concepts that you cover that like loops, array based questions and, uh, you know, um, <clears throat> uh, collections and everything that you have to do that. But collection, I will do the okay, fine. The Java collections will give you a lot of lot of confidence. Okay. So I have prepared already one playlist over here. You can see that uh, my latest Java collection tutorials 2021. There are around 35 to 40 videos are there when you, okay, you can just come over here on my YouTube channel, Naveen Automation Labs, and then you right click and open in a new tab. And there you will see uh, around, uh, around 30, 31 videos are there. If you are solving these problems, right, or covering all these things, the implementation, the internal architecture, the internal implementation of different collections, how exactly hash map is working and how to solve the problems with respect to stack, queue, linked list and everything. This will give you a lot of confidence to think about that how to solve a particular complex problem. So my advice is that immediately after that, I'll share this uh, document also with all of you. Don't worry about that. This is a link that I'm going to share for the Java collections. Please, please cover that. This is one of the playlists that one of the best playlists that I have prepared. Uh, with respect to java collections which will help you to understand how exactly collection works tomorrow let's say you want to learn with javascript and python also later on exactly same thing similar kind of things will be there then you have to implement and you have to understand so this playlist will really uh, will help you a lot okay don't understand java collection just for the sake of that okay yeah this is a list map interface and then these are the classes are there and implementing these classes but you should understand the internal implementation the practical use cases of those things as well. 
otherwise i know how to create an array list how to create and set object and then we are good to go how to use add get method that's it that won't help you a lot okay anyone can understand and anyone can give the answer for those questions second playlist that i'm going to talk about that is these are the tricky java interview question that i have prepared easy to complex one and uh, you know a lot of things that i have covered over here some good interview questions some silly interview questions also there but still they are quite famous at the time of interview so better you uh, cover these questions as well there are around more than i would say uh, you know there are 67 videos are there you can see this so this is also another uh, playlist that you have to go that is your third option that okay i would say tricky java interview questions i'll share the links with you guys so just don't worry about that you can just have a look over here as well this will help you a lot in terms of uh, you know the proper use case of hash map and everything and then uh, collections and sorting and then uh, matrices and uh, different array based interview questions string based interview questions and everything this will give you a lot of confidence about it then i'm going to talk about that uh, some important thing that you cover search online maybe in my playlist or maybe some other channel or whatever that's totally up to you are uh, string based questions array based questions are very famous you have to should know how to solve it string manipulations uh, string based questions i'll write a string manipulations also like this okay and then along with that try to understand some basics of regular expressions as well that will help you a lot in java to understand the proper things and everything the fifth thing i'm going to talk about at least go through what do you mean by time and space complexity that will help you a lot because uh, these terms should not be alien for you guys right guys what is o n what is o n square log n the graphical representation of different time complexity how to improve the time complexity how to add the minimal uh, space complex complexity and everything i think you should know about it to crack these interviews because people will ask about it they will discuss about it then you should know about that okay how to solve these problems with respect to the uh, you know the optimized time complexity in that case then there are some uh, good uh, ds algo based questions i would say that uh, uh, some algorithms that you should always understand that is i'm going to talk about that you should know about the linear search algorithm then i'm going to talk about the binary search is like evergreen interview question prepare this interview also then then you have to think about the sorting also the merge sort that is also there then the fourth one then you talk about the depth first search that is again uh, you know really good interview question that people will talk about what do you mean by depth search depth first search and then uh, depth first and then we have uh, breadth first search also so i'll just write it both the things together here so that is your uh, breadth first search after that uh, some sorting algorithms that you call uh, merge sort that we have already covered uh, quick sort also you just have a look this is like a, again very famous interview question with respect to their time complexity in everything and then you talk about the heap sort also that also you do it and then uh, one more uh, counting sort also you can uh, add it because obviously all the sorting algorithm that you are doing it then i think you should do it then there is one more basic uh, uh, digextra uh, algorithm that also that is also called by uh, okay just i'll uh, write it over here this algo okay how exactly it works maybe i can prepare a separate video on this you can have a look and then floyd uh, warshall algorithm also you have to know uh, about it so i'll prepare a video on this don't worry about that but if you have some other youtube channel or something like this or any other blog that also you can refer it so these are the 10 different algorithms that you can uh, cover which will give you a lot of uh, confidence along with the a string array based interview question that i've already listed in the tricky java interview question java collections and the basics of core java so that will be the sequence this should be the sequence for your java preparation to crack some really good interviews or uh, good product based companies or something like that i hope shai uh, it is like it will help you a lot and then people who are struggling because it's like, like every single day i'm getting this question that okay how much level of uh, java that is required or programming skills are required now see guys i'm not saying emphasizing on only for java if you are coming from python background then again same thing core python basics you have to understand in python also we have a data structure and collections programs a tricky 
same question that you can uh, use in python also you can write in python and javascript like a string array based or manipulations questions time space complexity is nothing related to any programming you have to optimize the code and everything so in that case also you have to learn about it and then same all these data structure algorithms that you can use it in python and javascript or any other programming language i'm coming from java background and in automation most of the profiles people are asking with respect to java with selenium and everything so that's why that it's very much required to cover with respect to java so it's totally up to you which language that you are preferring and we are using it accordingly and then how exactly you are preparing like that okay i'll share this documentation in my a description of this particular video and the first link of the video also please have a look and then if you feel that okay no some other preparation or some other interview questions also that you have to prepare feel free to write in the comment section and that's all i'm pretty much sure that will help you a lot to crack some really good companies or really good interviews so that's all for this particular video i thought of preparing it and it's very much needed a very high time to prepare all these things so thank you so much thanks for watching the vino automation labs please like comment and share and subscribe to the channel and i'll see you in the next video till then take care and god bless you all